गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू क्लास ऑफ द फिजिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ दिस ऑफ द चैप्टर एट दैट इज ग्रेविटेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट और वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड दैट इज द यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन लेट मी राइट हियर यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन now first of all let us discuss why this law is called the universal the meaning of universal is universal is that this law is hold everywhere in the into the universe wherever you go into the universe this law will hold true okay now let us see what this law says if we take two small mass particle let's say the mass particle m1 is here we have and the another mass particle m2 we have here okay and the distance between take take let us take r right now here if we have mass m1 and m2 then these two masses are going to exert some force on each other okay so this mass m1 is going to exert the force in this direction on m2 and the mass m2 is going to exert the force in this direction on m1 okay now it is found that experimentally that this force is proportional to the product of these two mass so we can write f is proportional to m1 m2 right it is also found that this force is inversely proportional to the distance or square of the distance between them so we can write this force is proportional to inverse of square of the distance between two so collectively we can write the force is proportional to m1 m2 by r square right and mathematically if we remove this proportionality sign we have to put some constant here so let us put some constant so this constant we write as capital g so this equation becomes g m1 m2 by r square where this g is called the universal again it is universal gravitational constant again why is it called the universal gravitational constant because the value of this constant is remain same everywhere into the universe so that is why it is called the universal gravitational constant that is also the method to find the value of this g okay so that method was performed by the scientist cavendish and he found the very uh, accurate value of this gravitational value of g what is that value that we will see later but let us continue this so this equation what we have come to this equation this equation is called the universal law of gravitation so what this equation is trying to say is the force is always proportional to the product of two mass and it is always inverse to the square of the distance between these two mass okay and moreover the most important thing which many students miss is that this force or this equation is applicable to only the point mass if we take the extended mass instead of this instead of this two point mass if we take the extended object then this equation becomes a little bit complicated so just for the simplicity just to understand the law of gravitation we have considered here the point mass okay and that is f is equal to g m1 m2 by r square okay so this is the universal law of gravitation moreover this equation we have obtained in the scalar form in in the vector form also we can obtain this equation so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to obtain this equation in vector form so for that let us consider the cartesian coordinate system let's say for example let me draw here the cartesian coordinate system this is x axis this is y axis let it let us take mass m1 here and mass m2 here and this is the position vector r1 of mass m1 this is the position vector r2 of mass m2 now here we want to find the force on mass m2 due to mass m1 again let me repeat the force on mass m2 acting by the mass m1 so force the force is acting due to mass m1 so we will draw the position vector of mass m2 with respect to mass m1 so i'm drawing the arrow which is going from m1 to m2 let us call it r let us call it r so the equation here we will write the force f and the force who is exerting the force the mass m1 okay so i will write the subscript m sorry sorry subscript one letter and the subscript two ahead of this one so which says that the force is acting due to mass one on two okay the force is acting due to mass one on two so we will write here f21 so here we will write first of all the magnitude of that force that is 
जी एम वन एम टू डिवाइड बाई आर स्क्वायर नाउ लेट एस कम टू द डायरेक्शन द मास एम वन इज एक्सर्टिंग द फोर्स मास एम टू सो दैट फोर्स इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन राइट सो वी कैन राइट हियर दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एफ टू वन राइट नाउ वट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ आर वी कैन सी हियर इन द फिगर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ पोजिशन वैक्टर दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ पोजिशन वैक्टर विच इज इन अपोजिट टू डायरेक्शन ऑफ एफ टू वन सो इफ यू कंसिडर द यूनिट वैक्टर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ पोजिशन वैक्टर देन वी कैन वी कैन टेक दिस एज द यूनिट वैक्टर ओके लेट मी राइट दिस यूनिट वैक्टर एज आर कैप ओके सो वी कैन राइट हियर द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स दिस डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स इज इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ यूनिट वैक्टर आर इज इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ यूनिट वैक्टर आर सो दिस माइनस साइन एक्चुअली इंडिकेट्स दैट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज इन अट्रैक्टिव इन नेचर राइट दिस इज द अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन दैट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज ऑलवेज इन अट्रैक्टिव इन नेचर इट इज नेवर इन रिपल्सिव फॉर्म okay so this minus sign this minus sign indicates that it is attractive in nature okay and moreover the force is always acts along the line joining between these two mass okay so this we can take as the scalar form of universal law of gravitation so this is enough for today in the next session we will see some more things about the gravitation thank you friends